Hey, what's going on? Chris, Mercer County Boot Camp with another video. And I'm telling you to do the following, all right? Get ready. I want you to stop stepping on the scale in your bathroom. You might as well just throw it out. Especially if you're the type that steps on it every single day, five times a day. Just stop. You know, from my experience over the years, I've gauged that people who obsess over it, they're always stepping on the scale day in, day out. They tend to be more susceptible to quitting, and they end up feeling more sad, depressed, whatever it is, and they may feel totally hopeless, and that who cares, let me just self-sabotage myself, woe unto me, and they can actually gain more weight just because of that, that empty feeling because of a magic number on the scales. It's, it's, it's kind of like that shaky eight ball, right, from uh, your Toys R Us days. So I want you to understand that sometimes we really can't control what our weight is. We really don't know until we get started, all right? So everyone is going to be different based on their body frame, metabolism, age, gender, weight, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes we just won't know until we get there. There's that expression, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We're going to do just that. So I want you to focus on the journey itself. If you say that this is for a lifestyle, picture this. Let's say you lose something, can't find it. Don't you find it very interesting that when you're not looking for something that you lost, that's when you find it? And you know, sometimes as far as like any kind of weight-related goal, it works similarly when you're just focusing on a new way of thinking, being, speaking, behaving, etc., doing things. Before you know it, hey, guess what? You're actually at that weight that you want it to be at. So if you say you want more abundance and you want better health and a lifestyle, etc., etc., you can't put a contingency on it. If you're doing that, you're lying to yourself. You can't say, yeah, yeah, I'm all about a new lifestyle. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Unless the scale goes down. If it doesn't go down, then screw it. I'm back to self-sabotage mode. If that's you, you know what? You lie to yourself and you lie to other people. You really weren't about that lifestyle. However, you know that you are. If, for example, you feel stronger, you feel more confident, you're happier... And then suddenly what the scale says, it doesn't really matter and the clothes are fitting better to boot as well, you hit your lifestyle change. Because let's be honest, most people don't get this. Muscle does not weigh more than fat, okay? If you, you weigh 140 pounds and you weigh yourself again and it says 143 but your clothes fit better, that's perfectly fine. That's body composition. A pound of muscle is the same as a pound of fat, but muscle is more dense and it's also... Uh, smaller in size it takes up less volume so even if the scale goes up just a little pinch but your clothes feel a hell of a lot better and you're making so much more progress really who cares i mean like aren't those things that you want in the first place more happiness more strength etc right that's more important than what some silly magic eight ball number on the scale says isn't it you're saying yes mission accomplished good job guys so keep on focusing on the lifestyle screw the scale i'll talk to you later